Bonjour, boys and girls. This is Drake from Reddit Viper bringing you the next Wartac Highlight video. This time from a random midweek spin versus Marshall's Nation. And as you can see, we came away with the victory 86 to 84. Um, edged them on percentage as well. The breakdown was 310 for us and 39 for them. So we had a one town hall 10 advantage, I guess. Um, Marshall's Nation is a French clan and was in CWL Invite Season 3. Um, I'm not sure what their status is for the next season, but shout out to them for uh, the good war. Um, and we'll just jump right into our replays. <clears throat> First up, we have Super Mood going in on number one Sonic, and he is doing it with a Queen Charge Mass Baby Dragons. So, um, he's using seven healers. So, um, I think he wants to charge the Queen, I mean, charge the Town Hall with that amount of healers and all baby dragons. Um, space is kind of bad because the eagle is just walkable with a wall break. So uh, Superman takes advantage of that. <clears throat> Queen is taking out the eagle. And we'll make her way east. Put down a baby dragon for funneling. So the queen doesn't get stuck too long on the storages. Which is important because Town Hall 11 point defenses are pretty nasty. I think that was his uh, third rage on the queen. Yeah, and starts his BK and CC bowlers from 4 o'clock. Clan Castle is three baby dragons and some goblins. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about that CC choice. Bowlers and King are doing work, and Queen has nowhere to go except inside, hopefully. She takes the jump and is targeting the town hall. And he's got baby drags on the southwest side, four percentage, a few loons, and another baby dragon. <clears throat> Queen still has her ability. He's out of spells, but he's already at 62%. And we'll pick up some more percentage so, kind of 2x this. It's a very nasty queen charge. Great job by Superman. Um, and he ends, I think, at 75%. Yeah. So, great job to him for the two star. <coughs> we had <coughs> two 10v10s this war. But we are only going to check out one of them. Um, actually, both of them are by Smash, so great job to Smash with the 10v10 six pack. I think this was the better of his two hits. And he is going in with the Queen Walk Miner. <clears throat> so, Miners did get nerfed with the update. But I guess they are still viable in some cases. So Smash starts off with a few funneling troops. And Queen at 6 o'clock. She will make her way west. <clears throat> um, this base was hit once or twice before. Um, with different, completely different plans. But Smash saw that this could work. And 
for it. So all breaks in to give him access to an expo, a wizard tower. Um, yeah, I don't think he can reach that inferno from there, but <clears throat> it's all good. Um, fortunately, Queen doesn't go inside, but we'll wall break again, just in time to get that little junction open. And um, she does go inside this time, so that is good. I think he will use his king to funnel his miners from the other side. Clan castle is a Lalo. <clears throat> And he sends one loon into their inferno, starting some miners and king from the southeast side, <clears throat> and sends a baby dragon into the inferno. So I guess that loon was to trigger any Sams that might be there. So a very nice touch on the baby dragon, which will take out that inferno by itself. Miners are pushing their way through the base. He's got. Um, I don't know if he put a heal there, but he's got two heals left. Uses one of them. Baby Dragon is still up, so definitely the MVP of this raid. <clears throat> Queen is still up. Miners are pushing their way through the base. Uh, Pre-places poison for the ground skeletons. And we'll finish up the last remaining defenses. So, great triple to smash. He had 28 miners in total. So, interesting stuff. Um, <clears throat> next up, we'll check out Honey Badger. He is one of the new. Town Hall 9s, and uh, he's been doing pretty good. Um, attacks early, which is always good at Town Hall 9. And he is coming in with a Shattered Hobo, I believe. So two Golems at <clears throat> 8 o'clock, all breaks them in, and comes in with Heroes and CC Bowlers. Clan Castle is a baby dragon, which in two wizards. And makes his way through that, and as you can see, this long compartment. It's never good to have long compartments in a base unless, you know, it's. I don't know, anti bitch um, for the old Town Hall 10s, I guess. Starts his hogs from 12. Got a little mini Tesla farm there. But gets through no problem. Still has two heals. We'll heal over the bomb tower and wizard tower. His bowlers, two bowlers are still up. His queen's still up with ability. Still has four hogs in the bag. Don't know if he needs them, but might drop them on the wizard tower. Yeah, four. Just to be safe. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I guess he swags a heal. Rest is just clean up. So great job to Honey Badger. I think he had a six pack. I'm not too sure. And the last attack we'll check out is number 18, taken out by AJ. This, I feel like I have seen this base before. Very old, probably from like 2016. But sometimes, you know, old bases are good as the meta changes. Um, Tanks, one of our guys, runs a alternate version of the Taylor base and always gets at least a defense or two, for some reason. 
So AJ is coming in here with a queen walk Lalo. Uh, nice baby drag there at 11 to take out an archer tower and some trash for funneling. <clears throat> there is out the CC with a loon. So we'll only leer out the air targeting troops which is good because um, things like Valks can uh, force queen ability but in this case a uh, witch and a baby dragon only needs a rage to get through that <coughs> and there's only a minute five seconds in the replay left so pretty fast Lalo I guess <coughs> There he starts as Lalo at 11.30 with two hounds, 18 loons, I believe, hasting their way towards the first air defense. He's already got cleanup minions. And another haste into that air defense. And a rage to the last section of the space. And. His max sound did not pop. Um, maybe pre update before the hit point buff they got you might have. I'm not sure. It wasn't that big of a buff, but anyways, great job to AJ. Um, and great job to us. This was our 399th win. And currently, we are going for win number 400 in Potluck. So, hopefully we'll get it and look forward to that recap. Uh, shout out to Marshall's Nations once again. Um, I think they beat us last time we matched, so it's good to get some revenge. Anyways, that'll be it for today, this recap. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.